Lunch break. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Lunch Break! Yeah, this is Lunch Break basically. Uh, welcome to another edition of Lunch Break. Uh, basically the show that brings you the many foods you can make during your break at lunch. Um, and also the number one show that brings you social media audience live at the same time. How about that? How about that? I'm taking that also with me. And you guys there on Instagram and on Facebook and on YouTube and on Twitter by Periscope. Thank you for joining in on my uh, show. And uh, I'm going to set you down here because I'm always afraid of holding you and, and dropping you or touching the button by mistake. But yes, thank you everybody for joining me on Lunch Break Season 4, people, as you can see. The New Gear Season 4. I know, right? I finally got a jacket. I'm actually saying that because this is hot, by the way. This is, this is cool. I like this. You know, a nice logo, and a name in the back. You know, man. To take away from you know the apron that I used to wear, but not to take away from it because you know that's legend. That's that's the number one first one. So, um, but yes. Yeah, so, thank you once again, everybody. Hope everybody's uh, well and safe, and everybody out there and on Instagram who's watching me, and also my uh, niece Crystal and uh, my brother man James is watching right now on on uh, Facebook. Thank you guys for joining in and watching the show. Thank you for the support, for the love you guys give us. Is definitely greatly appreciated like literally beyond means because without you guys I wouldn't be doing this right now I'll just be I don't know sleeping something I don't know. but thank you once again and before we get into everything I want to thank and keep thanking people all those who are working in the uh, healthcare, the delivery men's those people in food everybody in general even ourselves thank you as give us an applaud for doing what we must do during this time of craziness but we will get this through basically together not together but you know, you know what I mean. not together together but yeah together so but yes thank you <laughs> yes see <coughs> uncle CK is the chef of the house when he actually cooks I don't know when that is but probably only on Fridays <laughs> but yeah so let's get right to the nitty-gritty of what we're doing today so today I am bringing you another dish because like I said I haven't figured out what I'm doing um, for this season as far as theme wise so I'm gonna go with it and run with it uh, and see what you guys tell me because if you guys have ideas send it my way listen you never know I give you credit to it trust me I will be doing that um, so we're gonna be doing today on the show stir fry yes that's right I have not done that on the show as of yet I actually did it a few days ago uh, but I did a different variation of what I'm doing actually today because today I'm actually doing a different recipe. So I'm going to be doing stir fry today. And I'm going to tell you how to do that and accomplish that anywhere you are. At home, at work, at homework. Does that make sense? Homework? Because, you know, home became work or work became home. Are you making empanadas? No, not today. I'm not making empanadas. <laughs> um, I, did I do empanadas yet? Damn, I'm yo, this is episode 80, folks, by the way. Like, literally, episode 80. I have no idea what I've done so far. All the episodes and the stuff I've done in the show is, like, all mixed together in my brain. But, um, yeah, so I'm bringing you today, <laughs> before I get segregated, um, stir fry. So, basically, stir fry, or stir frying, knowledge drop, um, is actually a Chinese cooking technique. Um, in which ingredients are all fried in, in, in a small amount of hot oil, hot oil. Um, and then it's just stirred in a wok. I'm not going to be using a wok today, but you can use um, a saucepan, you can use a pot, which I'm going to be using today. Um, it all the, it, it's basically just cooking it in just a little bit amount of oil. You don't have to use that much because it's basically just stir frying, so it's basically just going like this. Um, so, and then that technique has been originated in China and is in, in a recent century has spread into other parts of Asia and the West. And I'm, I'm, I'm thinking the West is us because we've taken it, we've taken many different recipes in the entire world and planet and 
made our own unique spin to it. So why not do that today as well? So the first thing you're gonna need to make our stir fry is, of course, is ground turkey. Because we're gonna be doing ground turkey. We're not gonna be using ground beef, but you can use ground beef if you want. You can use ground chicken if you want. It all depends on your own taste and what you wanna make. You can even use beef and just slice it thin and do that. You know, you make a, uh, what is it, a beef and chicken, no, beef and chicken, beef and broccoli mix. So, you do that too. Um, then the other thing that I'm going to be adding to our stir fry is broccoli. So I'm going to be taking broccoli that we're going to cook in the microwave, as we always done on the tray, um, and then put it in the mix. The other ingredients I'm going to let you know what they are after the fact that I start cooking, I'll let you know so this way you can grab that pen and start writing them down. So the first thing we got to do is, of course, wash our hands. So you can't do nothing without washing your hands first. Because please, we want to make sure that we all have hygienically... <laughs> what? Uh, whatever you put there, Crystal, I can't see it because I don't think I have that type of phone. I think those were emojis. Um, so, yeah, so the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to take our round turkey put it in our pot we're gonna put medium heat and of course if you were doing this at work or if you weren't doing this at work if you have a microwave or a toaster oven um, all simply you got to do is put it in a microwave safe bowl for the microwave in the toaster oven just make sure you have a nice little small pan because listen you can bring all this stuff to with you to work you can bring all this stuff to, with you to someone else's house hey lunch break crash Never know, I may mean, be doing that on the road, but not anytime soon at the moment. <laughs> Wash your hands, you don't want Corona. <laughs> That's my niece right there. <laughs> All right, so we got um, the pot boy, uh, heating up, not boiling. I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil. There you go. Just a little smidge, a little smidge, a little smidge of olive oil. And then you just make it go all the way around. Let that get a little bit more hot. Then I'm gonna place the actual uh, ground turkey in here to cook. So I'm gonna close the lid. Um, like I said, even if you were doing this in the microwave, you make sure you have a microwave safe bowl and just put a, a, like a, you can put a paper towel over it um, or if your container that's microwave safe, uh, you can put it in the microwave and make sure you have a lid for it. It's the same way. But if you order out, you guys get containers to take home with you. Just save those and we use it. Don't look at my stuff up there. There's nothing up there. Don't look there. <laughs> All right, so I'm just letting this get a little bit hot. So I'm gonna start putting in the ground beef. Ground beef, ground turkey. What am I talking about? All right, so let's grab the ground turkey. Get a knife. All right, and then what? We're gonna be using our newly bought utensils, which I forgot to take out for the show for lunch break. Mm -hmm. Yeah, new utensils. Ooh, I can smell the oil already heating up. See, nice and cold. You only need a little bit. It's all nice and cold. See, you only need a little bit. And then take your ground <coughs> meat <laughs> place it inside <laughs> there you go now mind you depending on what type of meat <coughs> uh, what type of product you use either uh what you call it ground beef ground turkey ground chicken um they don't all have the same coloration when you cook it just to let you know just keep that in mind when you do um, start cooking any type of foods they all don't have the same type of color okay just to let you know about that okay, so I'm gonna put a little more oil to put into this because I want to make sure we coat the bottom of the pan when we do this because we're just gonna let this cook up nicely There, let's see. 
Yes. And of course, ground turkey turns white. Almost like um, when you cook up um, chicken cutlet, it's the same way. So they turn white instead of brown, like uh, ground beef will turn brown. Um, so this won't turn brown anymore. All right, so I'm gonna put the lid on. Let the cook simmer. All right. So the next thing you're gonna do that I need to add to this is a few other ingredients. So I'm gonna take the broccoli while this is cooking on low right now um, and cut them. Broccoli. I'm gonna cut the, the stem of it halfway because um, we're gonna place it in our bowl so they can steam cook in our microwave. Okay. There's a knife. Cutting half of the stalk. Tomato. Placing it in our bowl. And then I'm doing the same thing to the other one. There we go. And all these things have been pre-washed before I actually started the show, just in case. Um, so do wash your vegetables. I know I wash my vegetables. And wash it with cold water. You don't want to wash it with hot water by mistake, and then you end up cooking your food. Don't do that. So, we're going to put water in here. And you want enough to just almost halfway fill the bowl. You don't want to fill it all the way, because we just want these to cook and steam up so we can cut it and then add it to our ground, uh, ground turkey. So I'm going to set this in the microwave, and hopefully it don't disconnect us. And set it for three minutes. And hopefully we pray that the, our microwave doesn't knock us out. So that's in there. All right, I'm gonna put this to the side. And let's check up on our ground turkey. Nice. So this is, this reminds me of like when you make, um, uh, what was it, potato salad? And you put, you mix it in like red beets. That's like what it reminds me of. Like that's what it looks like, right? When you mix in like red beets into like potato salad. And do you guys mix red beets into your potato salad? Or is that just me? Or is just that my mom? I, I want to know that one. Alright. So that's it in there. I'll put the heat up a little bit. Alright. So we got that going. So the next thing I'm gonna show you, I want to do is I gotta do two things. So, we gotta prepare uh, garlic. And I'm gonna be using whole garlics. So you need two whole garlics for this. And if you saw from last week, uh, you saw me take one and actually cut it up. I'm gonna take this nice whole garlic here and just peel it back. Take all this covering from it. I know they had, I think they, they sell a tool that you can use to make this come out much, much easily. Because I'm struggling. There you go. Yeah, nice. You're supposed to grab the <coughs> butt of the garlic and then peel it back. And the who actually has a nice technique that they know that they can do, they can tell everybody for garlic. I like to know. That would be helpful. To not just me, but I think to our uh, audience. Now I can't grab this last piece. Yeah. Um. We have these garlics, throw the thrush. Awesomeness. Alright, so what we're gonna do is mince these garlics up and I'm gonna put it in this container. Alright, so here we go. So I'm just gonna take, I know you guys will be able to see me there. I don't know if you guys can see me on the Instagram, um, but I'll show you though. So I'm going to take these guys and just, you know, slice them thin as much as you can. Just making sure you guys don't cut yourself. There you go. Please don't cut yourself. 
<laughs> I don't want you blaming CK for telling people, hey, he told me to cut garlic and I cut my fingers. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> what up, Lewis? How you doing, man? So yeah, so just, you know, just follow the grooves of your fingers and then just slice them thin. And then once you have them into like little tiny chunks, I know people on my uh, Instagram are like, what are you talking about, KFC? I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you, look, 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 see? Once you have them into like, like tiny little chunks, see, you guys on um, TV land can see as you see it right there. Um, just mix them one more time into little tiny cuts. And remember, this doesn't have to be perfect. There's no such thing as, you know, perfection on any of this stuff. You're ultimately eating this yourself unless you're serving. Uh, no one's seeing it except for yourself. And you're probably doing this for yourself anyway. So, that's basically it. And then, like I said, you're mincing these. So, as small as you can, as bite sized as you can, even if you have to, like, you're not professionals, you just. Mm, 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 there you go. And then you have yourself nice minced garlic, or you can just buy them already pre made. It's totally up to you. And there you go. That's the minced garlic. And people on Instagram. Can you see it? Minced garlic. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna open our tur turkey. Yo! From Lewis. <laughs> gonna give this a nice little mix. Yes, microwave, I heard you. There you go. Alright. And of course, those tuning in right now, we're using a uh, stir, well, oh, using stir. We're making stir fry, but using uh, ground turkey to make our stir fry. And of course, if you guys have been watching the show, you know a certain tool that I'm about to bring out that was given to Doobie, uh, the sous chef, by Melissa. And of course, she had to get one for us also, as well. So. This makes it easier to uh, mash out of potatoes, um, uh, ground beef, uh, anything that needs to have a little bit more strength. And then, you know, the next little turn helps it out as well. Those who are watching this, see? Okay. And I gotta give love to the uh, people on Instagram who are watching as well. Alright. So now. We got that done, we got that done. So now we're gonna add our ingredients. So the first thing we're gonna add to this ground turkey is of course adobo. Not adobe, I know I said that last time Mario, okay? I'm not adding programs. <laughs> I'm adding adobe seasoning. <laughs> All right, there you go, some adobo to give some flavor. There we go. Some onion powder. Oregano. Yes, people. Oregano. I said the same thing when I saw the recipe. What? Okay. Um, parsley. Some black pepper. You guys writing this down, right? Writing this down. And a little bit, only a little bit, a little bit of salt. Okay. Now we're gonna take our dandy spatula, mix all that in. Make sure our ground turkey takes in all that flavor and seasoning that we just placed into it. There we go. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna add to this is actually the garlic, the minced garlic, into it. So we can cook it right into it. Okay. Then we're just gonna give that a little bit more of a stir. This is ground, the ground. The minced garlic <laughs> can uh, fully mix into this. Okay. And close this up for a little second. 
and let that cook. Alright, so I'm gonna hey Jackie, how you doing? Um, so now what the next thing I'm gonna add into this is the broccoli. So we're gonna take our nice steamed broccoli, and as you saw, when the broccoli went in there, it was kind of white. Now if you see it, hopefully I don't get burned. This thing is a little hot. See, it's turned nicely green. Look at that, nicely green from being steamed in the microwave. So you can steam vegetables in the microwave. All right, so I'm gonna grab the stalks. I'm gonna cut away a few of these pieces, or at least the pieces that I'm not gonna use from the broccoli. Right. Once you've done that, now I'm gonna cut them into bigger pieces. I mean, smaller pieces. What are we talking about? Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix them into our stir fry, and then they're gonna cook more in our stir fry. What I'm doing with the broccolis at the moment is that I'm cutting them into cubes. And I don't know if you guys can see me from here. I don't want to drop this by mistake. Hope you guys can see me. Uh, not really can see me that much. Sorry guys for Mr. Ram. I gotta figure out a different way to, to get you guys able to see the whole um, screen. You guys are just watching me at the moment. So it's not really helping you much. So I'm just gonna put you closer to the pot. So at least I, you guys can see the, the cookie methods. That's what I gotta figure out. How to get, uh, how to stream to the Instagram and watch it at the same time. Cause you know, other than that, I won't be able to see anything else. All right, so where's the other stalk? Look how easy this thing just, it like literally goes down on it. Wow, wow. I gotta take a pause on that one. Wow. I am so sorry folks for saying that, the way I did. <laughs> Look how nicely the knife cuts down <laughs> on the broccoli. Wow, I am so sorry for that. <laughs> I didn't mean that in the way it came. Wow. I'm not gonna say that either. Nope, nope, nope. <sighs> see, do we see what's happening? Hey, Brandy, what up? See what's happening, um, do we see what's happening? All right, so I'm gonna continue cutting the broccoli stalk into cubes. Right here. Then I'm gonna work on the actual broccoli and make them into florets. So what I'm gonna do is add the stalks in first, because all those are the uh, harder pieces. Take a spatula and just mix that in there with it, so they can start getting even softer. Nope. Oh, we didn't even use the bowl. All right, so now, I'm gonna take the big florets. Like I said before, I'm gonna be cutting out the pieces I don't want out of this. And then what we do is that we cut down on the head of the actual broccoli. And then, like we did before, we cut these guys into cubes. There you go. Put this to the side. And then with these, what I'll just do is go straight down on the heads of these, as you can see, right? Boom. And then, boom, see? They turned into nice little tiny florets. Nice, right? Get Dewey on screen next to you. <laughs> I know, right? I need like a little tablet over here to show him. <laughs> All right, let's put, place these in there. So we do the last one. And then I'll just put the top on that. 
So like we did before, right? Here's the, the head of the broccoli. I'm gonna cut two times, one, and then right at the stem of the floret. So in this way, man, look at that. No effort, well, except for this one. No effort whatsoever to make them into tiny florets. Easy, right? You guys can do this. Hey, Maritza, how you doing? Right, and then the same thing like before. Take the stem, then cut them into cubes. And there you go, then one more. I think I just had a runway, a uh, runway, a runaway. There you go. And then, like we did before, stick it in here all into a nice pot. And then we're gonna mix that all together. So let's say all of this starts to cook together. There we go. Make it part of our nice little stir fry. Nice. There we go. So if you're just tuning in um, to lunch break, we are making stir fry with ground turkey and broccoli. But now I have one more secret ingredient. Nah, I'm just kidding. There's not another secret ingredient. There's one more ingredient that I gotta add, but also I forgot to take out another uh, ingredient. So for this, you also need um, soy sauce into the mix. So we're gonna add that now. You only need like about half a cup. So now we have this, this is a cup. And half a cup of soy sauce to add to the mix of this. I'm just gonna spread this in nicely and evenly. And as you can see, the uh, sorry about that. The uh, soy sauce gives it a nice color to our stir fry. I'm making a mess on this on the other side of the uh, of the pot, by the way. Yo, these broccoli are so soft that I am just using the spatula to cut the florets. That's crazy, right? <laughs> oh. Marissa just asked what I was cooking today. I'm making stir fry. I think I said it, but let me say it again. Um, I'm making stir fry uh, with ground turkey and broccoli into the mix. Okay. Delicious. All right. So the next thing I'm going to add to this is actually the last ingredient that you need to put into your stir fry. So I'm just going to let this cook a little bit more. Because we want the, the broccoli to be nice and tender as it's cooking. Um, the last thing that you need to add to this is basically um, scallion onions. So I got some scallion onions that are already washed. I'm gonna cut the little butts. Yes, I said butts. Leave me alone. Little butts of these. And then, as before, I'm gonna line these up all together and I'm gonna just cut and make them into quarter or an eighth of a cup who knows what that is there we go. quarter and eighth of a cup cup ah eighth of an inch what am I talking about cut it's basically like that it's something like that you guys can see it look it's something like that I'm showing everybody on Instagram <laughs> Crystal said it looks yummy already even though it's not done. Yes, thank you. That's my niece Crystal's on Instagram watching. Um, I gotta bend over because uh, I can't hardly see the messages on here. <laughs> and my screen is still going blah, 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 like that on, on the, uh, the tab that I'm using to watch you guys and type. So I'm gonna cut these up. 
and I want to make sure that these are sliced thin enough so I can place them in our pork. And we're giving the ground turkey and the um, broccoli more time to cook as we have it on medium heat. And you can do this in the microwave also. Um, uh, you just gotta set it for like five to eight minutes depending on how much you're making. Because if you're only making a little bit for yourself, you don't have to spend that much time cooking it. I want to make sure they're all at least one eighth of a cup. Because it, <laughs> I left this ingredient for last only because it is so strong. I had it out before and it just filled the entire. Hey, Jordan, how you doing? <laughs> it just filled the entire apartment, literally, from just this alone. Not from the ground turkey, not from the broccoli or anything else. No, it was just the scammed onions. They're like so strong. All right, so let's check on this now. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Mmm. This is gonna be good. Oh, look, look, look. So watch. You guys are watching this, right? Bam, look at that. I just cut into the floret. That's how soft these are. So mind you, we cooked up, or heated up, and well, no. We steamed cook our broccoli in the microwave for about three minutes. Um, you can set it for four minutes to make it even more tender. Um, and then, because they were going to cook more actually in our pot, that's why I didn't set it for four, right? So the next thing, now, I'm going to add the scallion onions. So that's going into our mix. Boom. Put this away. We don't need it no more. And then now, we're going to mix the scallion onions that we just placed in here. So they can start cooking into a stir fry. So yes, this is just in case you guys just started tuning in into lunch break. We're making stir fry with ground turkey and broccoli. Oh my god, look at oh my god. Yeah, you guys want some of this? Yeah, you guys want some of this? Oh shit, I shouldn't do that. I might turn the camera off by mistake. <laughs> So I'm just gonna put this back up on there. All right. So while this is cooking, I am gonna side this with some jasmine rice. Cause who doesn't love jasmine rice? I mean, jasmine rice is awesome. Uh, I know we've done uh, was it wild long grain um, rice? Uh, I think we've done yellow rice and garlic rice. Uh, but jasmine rice is the closest to white rice in a sense to me, and that's what I want to eat. <laughs> Jordan just put up a whole bunch of emojis of uh, Julie Lord. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, so, yeah, so I wanted to actually on the recipe, it called for uh, basmati. So, here's a question for you guys Is basmati the same as jasmine rice? Because I mean, they're, they're the same length, right? So, is it kind of the same? Or is it just me? I'm, I'm confused. Like, does anybody know from the audience who's watching? Is basmati rice the same as jasmine rice? Where's Laura? Laura, where are you, man? <laughs> Come on, I need, I need your knowledge. Um, so yeah, so we got here, and of course, as you guys already know, we do the uh, <clears throat> the instant rices. Hey, see, I was just talking about you. <laughs> I was just talking about you, Laura, and you just came out just now. <laughs> All right, so see, now we have someone who knows. So, I asked the question. Okay, so she said basmati is Indian style and usually tougher. See, so there you go, see? I got I, I got my wishes and she came on live and I should let you know. So, basmati is different than jasmine rice. All right? Uh, Jordan said, I can't cook to save my... Yes, you can, man. If you can fry an egg, you can do it. Uh, Laura is usually used for sushi. Oh, wait, what's used for sushi? The basmati or the jasmine? I didn't know that. That's an interesting one. Hmm. Wait, is that the same way as when you make um, like sticky rice? Is that the reason why it gets like that? Listen, Jordan, I know you can cook, man. Stop lying, man. Listen, if you can crack an egg and put it on a pot, 
or cracking it. Look, I can show you how to make like 39 different egg types in the microwave, all right? Oh, jasmine rice. Really? Oh. Oh, look, look. The pot's talking to us. I can't even make copper rock. Man, th dude, that is not hard, man. All you gotta do is put hot water, babe. That's messed up, man. Listen, I know someone. <clears throat> And James knows what I'm about to talk about. Uh, an individual who made rice, didn't even put water in it, and turned the stove on. That's all I want to say. That's that's the only thing I'm going to say. I mean, most rice does that, but bas basmati is longer and grainier. Interesting. I did not know that. I thought they were the same. I mean, listen. White rice is the same regardless. I'm just eating it. Uh, that if that makes any sense. No, no, I, it does make any sense because there's many different shapes and sizes of rice, so it definitely makes sense to me. I, I just opened this because the uh, the all the steam from the the pot is making my lid talk smack to me. By the way, because if I do this in a few minutes, it's gonna be like, like really you're talking smack to me. Even though there's like a little tiny hole here letting out steam and ow, that was hot. Why did I do that? Um. <laughs> from the actual pot. Alright, so let's just check up on a look at that. Look at that man. This looks so delicious. Yeah I'm gonna be selling 10 cents a plate. And the plate's this big. 10 cents a plate. <laughs> okay. Free, free, free charge, man. Free charge. Look at the coloration of it. Look how colorful this has turned into. Like legit, look how colorful this is. All right, let me put this back on. Let it simmer on low. What happened? Jasmine is great for rice pudding and sushi. Oh, listen. <clears throat> One of the two things you mentioned is good for me. I love sushi to death. I don't do rice pudding. I am sorry. You cannot, no. no. You cannot get me to eat that. I will die. Okay, um, my wife loves it. I, I think Tila eats it too. I'm not sure, um, but hell to the no to rice pudding. I am sorry. That's the one. Mm -mm, no, the same thing with um, blue cheese. Uh -uh. I love all cheeses except for blue cheese. I don't touch that. I don't eat that. I don't look its way. It don't come in my circle. Okay. Jasmine's basmati rice are long grain rice types. However, jasmine rice is slightly shorter and rounder as compared to basmati which is very long, slender and needle shaped. The grains of basmati elongate to almost twice their size after they're being cooked. Oh nice! Um, she also meant, Laura also said after cooking the grains of the basmati become dry and fluffy and it expands and increases dramatically in length as well. In contrast, jasmine rice, after being cooked, becomes moist and sticky. Whoa. Whoa. What? This is most notable in the difference. Whoa. Wait a second. Are we still talking about rice? <laughs> Whoa. Don't say the last line to anybody, unless you want to. Um, it is how it's cooked. Okay. See? Knowledge drop by Laura, a.k.a. Laura. Laura Dude. Go visit her Instagram. I'll do this Andrea, you been you? Yo, where you been? Yo, like seriously, where you been? Come on now, stop hiding. Maritza, enjoy. Always a pleasure watching you cook. Take it. Thank you, Maritza, for joining us. We listen. We here at Lunch Break love and enjoy every time you come on, and we appreciate the love and support. Thank you so much. And by the way, yeah, I, I'm still dealing with uh, um, a Windows over here that goes all over the place so um you know th just give me a, a, a um, I don't even know what to say my brain is but I'm stuck in those lines that Laura just wrote <laughs> up right now. um yeah just bear with me because I'm, I'm trying to read look, listen look, look I'm trying to read but this is what I'm getting see see it, well you can't see it on video but the screen is all discombobulated as you can see so I'm trying to see as much as I can from you guys uh, writing the messages. So bear with me. There you go. That's the word. Bear with me. 
and I want you to have background music. I know, I'm trying, listen, I'm trying, but I'm one guy. Listen, I'm doing a whole live production by myself. Legit, from streaming, video, Instagram. <laughs> and people on this round, I don't mean to, to not see you. Honestly, I can cook too. Yes, Crystal, I wanna eat your food. Uh, I can't cook rice, meat, and pot. That's not true, you will. I will make, and I'll show you. I will show you. I will show you how to do it. Um, so yeah, so bear with me, guys. I can't hardly see what everybody puts down on here. I gotta like really concentrate and squint my eyes. <laughs> oh, you guys are talking about Doobie. As long as it's not, what? Louder than him. Huh? I will see if I can can find you a royalty free playlist for music. Oh no, I, I have one, uh, Laura, that's playing. I don't have one playing here um, in the main Facebook, only because this is a video that I use to actually edit. It is, however, if you go to like uh, my Facebook page, not my profile, um, and my YouTube, and I think Twitter also, uh, you'll see there's music playing underneath. That's uh, from uh, AKA, giving credits out to uh, www.bensound.com. They're the proprietors of the royalty free music that uh, has been provided to lunch break since the beginning of the show. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Laura. You don't say nothing. Stop looking up there. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> you have to look at all my stuff. Listen, I'm going to start hiding my cookies. Like, my cookies are all out in the open, man. You guys are going to start getting my cookies too at the same time. Um, that, uh, I segue. Um, <laughs> Uh, in case you're joining into lunch break, we're making stir fry uh, with uh, ground turkey <laughs> and um, um, broccoli. Hey Bruno, what up man? How you doing? <laughs> so just in case um, you're just tuning in, that's what we're making. We're making stir fry. So now, <laughs> I'm going to take our instant rice. <laughs> God. Listen. Anything you see on lunch break, contact Melissa Johnson. Oh, shoot, I gave her her last name. She's gonna kill me. Darn, I'm gonna die. Um, contact my wife. <laughs> She'll give you the information. <laughs> Quest next. <laughs> Damn it, James, you're joining it too. That's, what? That's my wallpaper on my Animal Crossing too. Wait, what, what is, wait, hold on. What's your wallpaper? I just missed that. What just happened? Any day now, me and James will be respected. As Listen, I love you guys, man. Don't say that. I love you guys. You guys are well respected as producers and everything. You got. I gotta have you guys on the show. How about that? James been on the show. Andrea needs to make a cameo. Okay, so I'm gonna take our. Jasmine rice, instant rice. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I made myself. Right? Yeah, yeah, look. New gear for season four. Created by yours truly. I made one for Doobie as well. So, um, 90 second rice <laughs> that I'm gonna stick in the microwave. Oh, and of course, you gotta remember, you gotta open one side. We don't want explosions. There we go. And that's that for that. Stir fry is not the best if Theo doesn't make it. <laughs> Aww. My niece just says stir fry is not the best unless I make it. Oh man, don't make me cry. Come on, man. I'm trying not to cry. I've been crying too much already. Right, let's take up on our stir fry over here. Oh my god. Yo, look at the broccoli. Even the bro yo, the broccoli is so tender, it has changed into like three different levels to the point where it's so tender. Is just mixing in the stir fryer. Look at that. And yes, you can accomplish this with a microwave and a toaster oven. You can. Because if I was at work, I would be doing this at work with you guys. <laughs> Not food wars. Till Chris takes off his top and his wife walks in wearing a bikini. <laughs> Hey, hey, what? 
and uh, that's for lunch break midnight snack. Did I just say that? Sorry, you guys didn't hear that. You raised what did I just said? You guys didn't hear none of that did I just said a few minutes ago. Alright? You raised what I just said. Oh, <laughs> uh, Andrea wants one. She wants one of my shoes. Um, so, oh, so the body rise is cooking. I got one more I gotta do in there. Oh, shoot. Ah! I gotta keep forgetting that those things come out hot from the uh, toaster oven. <laughs> I gotta remember to grab, grab the rice. Okay, grab the rice. I said grab the rice. 40 year old virgin memes now. <laughs> So we take the uh, instant rice, we squeeze them, <coughs> the rice, we'll talk about the rice, and then we open the side <laughs> to let it vent, and then place it back in the microwave for 90 seconds. There we go. Alright, so we got that. I'm just going to get a bowl here. Don't look at my stuff. You don't see nothing there. There's nothing there. You guys didn't see nothing. I'm not talking. That's not lunch break shows. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, all right, so that's done. That's, oh, this one's done. How? Oh, okay. We're gonna take our rice over here. Now hopefully bring ourselves. There we go. Yo, where's Mario, man? I miss Mario also. Ooh, it's about to tell smack to me. I'm gonna place the rice in here. Without getting burned, hopefully. There you go. Nice basmati rice. All right. Put the lid back on that one so you guys can see my face. Can it work in an air fryer? Ooh, that's an interesting question, Crystal. So my niece just asked, can you do this in an air fryer? And you know what? You can. If you put water at the bottom of it and then use a uh, steamer to put the vegetables on top, you can actually accomplish the same thing. I saw that once already done. Yeah, so what happened? Bruno said, squeeze. Wow. <laughs> what the? I can't with you. Oh, ow, 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 Hi. How you guys doing? This, this is live, okay? Did I get burned for you guys? Then I did a good job. <laughs> yeah, that's how I don't know. Ah, no. Nope. Wait. Ah, nope. Alright, I gotta get open somehow. And then I'm just gonna pour that in there if you wanna get burned. There you go. Okay. There you have it. So now I'm gonna add. What happened? Tell Chris to get back to work. She's supposed to be helping me clean. Oh damn! Damn! Uh, uh, I don't know what you're talking about, Bruno. Uh, Crystal's not on. She's not watching. She she's cleaning. Yeah. She's she's not watching her deal. What are you talking about? That's that's a different Crystal. Yeah, that's a different crystal watching. <laughs> hey, Julie, what up? Um, Jordan said, cat in the hat's cooking shop. <laughs> oh my god. You guys are really going on those memes now, aren't you? Alright, so I'm going to place in here what Melissa says is not butter. Apparently it's margarine or vegetable oil or whatever. That's what I'm going to add to this. I'm gonna take my photo. That apparently is not photo. That's what Melissa said. I think we had the next conversation last week. About what's truly butter and what's not butter. And I'm just gonna add a nice little grease amount into our mix. Mixing 
our butter with our rice to give it a nice little coating of deliciousness. And then you guys are gonna watch me see. I'm gonna turn this off because this is already done. There you go. And of course, I'm using the spatula that's made for children. Now comes time for the plating. So you guys are gonna see me plate the deliciousness that's about to come out of this. So I'm gonna show you guys. You guys already seen the rice. Uh, I'll show you guys here on Instagram. That's the rice that we just added butter to it. You guys can see it. And this is our stir fry. Look at that, people. Look at that deliciousness. Oh, yeah. And then I'm just going to show you guys our deliciousness. Look at our stir fry. Mm. Now, I'll set you guys back down here. Hopefully, I don't press the button. All right. Now, let's put our food. All right, so I'm going to take. Another spatula. Uh, hey, what up, Juan? How you doing? <laughs> what did Bruno say? Bruno said, I see Gordon Ramsay saying something crazy to see her. <laughs> this is what he's talking about. He's behind that curtain, don't you know? Alright, so I'm gonna take the rice. Right here. And I'm gonna splat it right there on the oh, boom. Oh, boom. I'm gonna get a nice little decent amount right here. Then, I'm going to use another utensil. It has a nice little hole in it, right? And I'm going to make a nice little dent in our rice here, as you guys can see. And I'm going to make a nice little dent. There we go. And I'm going to scoop a little bit of our stir fry. Look at that. Put it right in the middle. Mmm. Damn. And of course, how we do here always, we put a little bit of the parsley so we can decorate it. Who doesn't like parsley? And there you go. Ba bam. Look at that, peoples. Who's on here? Hey, babe. Oh, no. Dave's on Instagram, by the way. And there you go. That's our stir fry with jasmine rice. Look at this, people. Come see this closer. Look at that. Our stir fry. Our stir fry right there. With garlic rice. Stir fry with garlic rice. Mmm. All right. I'm taking orders. Who wants some? <laughs> I'm gonna sit you down right here. Oh, 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 no! What just happened? Oh, who? About to say, I thought we got disconnected. Now we got interrupted. Uh, hopefully, uh, somebody kept calling my phone, so we kept getting disconnected. Hey, Sam, what up, Jordan? Thank you guys for coming back. Um, yeah, somebody was calling in my phone. Uh, I don't know who it was, but they basically disconnected us. So, so hopefully everybody comes back and is able to see this last piece. So, the last thing that I was trying to do, so I put some of the, uh, the jasmine rice, and I put some of our stir fry in here. I, okay. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I guess you guys met the floor too. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> always towards the end, man. Always towards the end. Never towards the beginning, but always towards the end. It always happens. Hey, Laura. <laughs> oh my God, what's going on? Why does this person keep calling? Sorry about that guys, someone keeps trying to call my phone, like I, I don't understand, it says unknown, so I can't do nothing about it. But 
<clears throat> Alright, so without further ado, um, what I'm gonna do is I got some of the boss mod, uh, boss mod, some of the jasmine rice and some of the stir fry. <laughs> Timber. <laughs> good call on that one, good call. <laughs> so here's our stir fry and here's our um, jasmine rice for like the fifth time. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna take, take, take a taste. Oh my god. I'm sorry guys. But no lie. This is really delicious right now. I took one bite and I was already like done. This is not gonna survive. So And I'm only telling you this because of the fact, look, I'm trying to take every single grain from this and eating it. Like, legit. Like, legit, that's what I'm doing right now. Oh my god. Don't mind me. That tastes so good. I'm sorry. That was lunch break delicious. Like, legit. Lunch break delicious. So, I gotta go. Cause that made me massively hungry. And I just wanna eat this and not give it to nobody. All the numbers listen. So, but thank you everybody for watching Lunch Break. Sorry for the unfortunate of the person who tried to call me. They're being very uh, messed up and not uh, allowing everybody to see uh, our stuff. But thank you as always, I love you guys. Thank you for the love and support. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video and all our other videos that's also available on YouTube.com. Um, and our Facebook page, by the way. So, like, comment, and share, subscribe. Let everybody know about it. Share the love to the world. Because, you know, we got to be successful together. That's how we get everything accomplished. So, thank you once again. Um, don't forget to go also to IMDb. Look up the, the TV show. Lunch break, one word. And rate us a ton. Or rate us one minute. Rate whatever you guys... Is for I, I, I enjoy all criticism, it's awesome. It's what makes me do the show that I do today. So thank you as always. I love you guys. I was your host CK. And thank you to everybody in the world, everybody who joined in on the live, Sam, Jordan, James, Samantha, my niece Crystal, Bruno, Maritza, Andrea. Holy crap. Uh did I miss anybody? I hope I didn't miss anybody. <laughs>